My selected designer for What Was Good Design 1944 to 1956 exhibition is Laura Anderson. Laura Anderson was a distinguished American potter and teacher. Born in San Bernardino in 1902, Anderson credited her interest in natural forms to her childhood experience with California's wildness. Although her father's and mother's jobs as a banker and baker, respectively, didn't play a big role towards her interest towards working with her medium, it was meeting her friend who was teaching as a professor at San Diego State University and was also named Woman of the Year, Elise Rococo, which influenced her to apply for University of California, Los Angeles, and was accepted. She then graduated from the University of California, Los Angeles in 1932 and began teaching at the university in 1933. During her early years, she had never imagined that clay would become her signature medium. With little experience and limited equipment, she self-taught herself to make pots from cast to hand-built forms. Initially using bright glazes, she soon began working with matte glazes that emulated high fire stoneware and offered more possibilities for artistic expression. It was also during that time that Anderson also continued her formal education at Columbia University, earning herself a master's degree in painting in 1937. Nonetheless, it was during 1937 that the first exhibition of her ceramics took place at the Reen Rosenfeld Gallery in New York. As her work was transformed in 1944, when she learned to use a potter's wheel, she took her first lessons from Gertrude Natzler, who had emigrated from Vienna to Los Angeles with her husband and artistic partner, Otto Natzler. In 1957, Anderson worked with earthenware and stoneware, she then explored and experimented on various clays and glazes throughout her innovative firing practices. By following the method of forming a vessel with a glaze, Anderson noted, When I get a good glaze, then I think. Well now, what would be an appropriate form for this to be placed on? Would it be a thin pot or would it be a thick pot? I visualize the pot after I have the glaze. Her work reflected her interest in the forms of Scandinavian design, techniques of Persian reduction firing, and Japanese ceramic colors. She was also one of the first California studio potters to exploit the potential of porcelain, which until 1950 had been used almost exclusively for commercial products. By the late 1950s, she had done so much experimenting with porcelain clays and glazes that she was acknowledged as a premier West Coast authority. After retiring from teaching in 1970, University of California, Los Angeles, presented a historical survey of ceramics celebrating her contributions to the field. Whilst retiring, she continued to pioneer research, developing new firing techniques, clay bodies and glazes, providing future generations of clay artists with valuable technical information. In 1982, the Mingay International Museum in San Diego held an exhibition for over 400 of her pots, representing a 50-year span of work. Beyond being an internationally recognized potter and educator, Anderson was also a collector and connoisseur of arts and ceramics that she had obtained from cultures worldwide. Thus, it is from the influence that Anderson had, which viewed Anderson as the doyen of ceramics in California in the 1940s and 50s. Yet, it is through the term good design that MoMA creator Edgar Kaufman Jr. highlights the value to promote everyday objects that economically combine beauty and function, aligned with the precepts of modern movement. The exhibition, what was good design shows over a hundred examples of good design. The design that I have chosen to examine is Laura Anderson's glazed earthenware bowl. The piece was displayed in 1943, an extremely well-thrown, thin-walled and glazed ceramic bowl. This design is hand-signed and dated on base in pencil. It is through this design that Zayata Ram's 10 principles of good design can be used to evaluate the quality of a design. As this bowl, designed by Laura Anderson, highlights five of these designs, what were good design is environmentally friendly by using organic materials such as earthenware, porcelain and stoneware, keeping her designs to a minimal, where the details shown emphasizes on its simplicity. Lastly, her works lasting long in materials and design-wise, being also very honest, where the product does not manipulate consumers and is also self-explanatory in the use of the product. Thus, it is through this research about Laura Anderson and what good design is that pinpoints that whilst everything is art, 
that was sensitive, creative, inspirational thing to look at or use. Perhaps it is the simplicity and the use that makes up good design. Although Anderson ideally focused on ceramics, she did explore various materials throughout her work. Perhaps in studying about her, I learned to broaden my medium in my work and shall use it in future practices.